In part one of our video series, we logged in as our audit manager and created an example internal audit record. In part two of our series, we're logged in as our quality specialist to begin work on our audit record. Our quality specialist user, which we set up in the introduction to part one in this video series, was assigned a system generated task to serve as the audit coordinator during record creation. We can see in the upper left corner this user has tasks waiting. Let's click to visit the task center. Here we can see the italicized record coordinator task for the audit 2020 internal audit ISO 9001 chapter 8 production. Let's click this task to jump straight to the record. We won't spend too long reviewing the information tab of this record, which was covered in part one of the video series. We will pause and point out the edit button in the upper left corner. Remember, our quality specialist has the edit view permission to the audits module. This means this user can use the edit button to make changes but cannot create new records from scratch. Let's scroll down and review what we will be performing in this audit. We can see the scheduling of the audit agenda. This is a two-day audit with the closing meeting a day after the last audit activities. We can see on the right that we are expected to audit operations procedures to ISO 9001. Once an initial audit is created, as it is done here, FreeQMS works through actionable activities. Let's scroll to the top. Before we start recording findings, we're going to make sure to attach an audit report. Let's click the Files tab. On the Files tab, we can attach any number of files relating to this audit. Let's click Upload Files. We will follow the easy on-screen prompts to attach an example file, A1002-2020 Internal Audit Operations Report .docx. This is our audit report that contains details required by our company format. Now, even though it's been just a little while in YouTube time, we're going to pretend this audit has come and passed and we're ready to start recording actionable audit findings. Let's click the Audit Activities tab. Companies are principally concerned with any follow-up action items from the audit. This is the core of quality audits. Locate nonconformances and resolve them. In this video tutorial, we're going to record audit findings so we can move forward with resolving company nonconformities. Let's click the Create Audit Activity button. The Create Audit Activity form is for creating actionable activities that arise from audits. In this example, we will record a minor nonconformance against our operations procedure when audited to ISO 9001 Chapter 8 production that was found during a two-day audit. Our company does not have a procedure that establishes criteria for the acceptance of products and services. Let's fill out this form. Description. No procedure for acceptance activities. The activity type will be a minor nonconformance. The status is going to be new. And here for assigned to, we'll leave this field set to our logged in quality specialist, who will also coordinate the closure of the nonconformance. In a real world environment, the coordination of an audit nonconformance may be assigned to a member of engineering, operations, or another department involved with the audit. The due date will be a week from today. For audit items, a real audit will probably contain many documents and document types to audit. For this example, we only have one operations procedure, which we will select. Remember, our nonconformance is against the company's operations procedures for lacking a procedure on acceptance activities. Regulations and Standards We are recording this finding against ISO 9001 Chapter 8. This is the Results field. The Results field is a catch-all field meant to capture nonconformances, observations, and recommendations. The classification of this data is determined by the Activity Type field above. The Results field, if your company is still performing audits with a physical form, is where you would enter the short form nonconformance. Here we will enter an abbreviated example. There is a finding against ISO 9001 Chapter 8 Operations. The company could not produce a procedure that established criteria for acceptance activities. The Notes field is where we enter the long form nonconformance to back up our statement. These are the auditor's notes about the interaction. During the audit, the auditor found inconsistencies in record keeping for acceptance activities. The auditor asked John Operator, as representative of the company's operations department, to present the company's procedure on acceptance activities or any procedure which satisfied the following clause. ISO 9001 8.1 B2 
the organization shall plan, implement, and control the processes needed to meet the requirements for the provision of products and services, and to implement the actions determined in Clause 6 by establishing criteria for the acceptance of products and services. The Operations Department did not produce a procedure that establishes criteria for the acceptance of products and services which results in inadequate control of acceptance activities. The legacy record ID field is unlikely to be used by smaller companies. Larger companies often assign ID numbers to actionable audit items. We will put NA here. Now we can click Create. Great, we've created an example nonconformance. Before we move to resolving this nonconformance in part 3 of our video series, we're going to create another example, an observation. Let's click Create Audit Activity again. This time we'll go through the form a little quicker. Description, integrate outsourced processes list into approved suppliers list. Activity type, recommendation. The status will be new. Assigned to is going to be the same logged in user. Due date will be a week from now. Audit items, operations procedures. Regulations and standards, ISO 9001, chapter 8. And four results. Once again, we're going to do a short description here. The organization currently documents and controls outsourced processes through a controlled document, outsourced processes maintained within the operations department. The auditor recommends this be combined with the organization's approved suppliers list. Once again, we'll put any supporting information in the notes field. The auditor requested the organization's list of outsourced processes in ISO 9001 2015 8.1. The organization shall ensure that outsourced processes are controlled. C 8.4. The organization presented a controlled document outsourced process Rev F dated September 1st, 2021, and a outsourced SOP 405 control of outsourced processes. It was determined by the auditor that the work prescribed by SOP 405 is largely duplicative of the company's existing supplier assessment procedures and that the list of outsourced processes could be eliminated and the supplier providing outsourced processes instead be integrated into the company's supplier approval process. Once again, we'll put NA in the Legacy Record ID field, and we can click Create. Great, now we have an example recommendation and nonconformance. These should serve as general examples for using FreeQMS to resolve audit findings. In part 3 of our video series, we'll pick up with closing out these audit action items.